joined by Debbie Meyer, who has an uncanny way of helping us to solve problems. And today, we're solving a variety of great problems for you. We just addressed how to keep your foods fresh longer with the Debbie Meyer green bags and the green boxes, and we'll show you those green boxes. My name is Marlo, and Debbie Meyer has created for us some genius sponge. And that's what we're going to be featuring for you today. Now, before you go, wait a second, but I already have blue sponges at home. What's so special and unique about these sponges? This is called a genius sponge. These are the Debbie Meyer genius sponges because they are genius in your home. What they do is they inhibit the growth of molds and bacteria in or on this sponge for the life of the sponge. And you don't have to do a thing to them to make them. So work. I don't have to put it in the microwave or the dishwasher no, or no, that sort of no. thing. When you rinse out this sponge, let, let's say you rinse it out at night and you actually put it, you put it next to your sink. Mm -hmm. When the morning when you pick it up is like picking up a new sponge. Oh my gosh. Because it, the things that things that you would ordinarily pick up on your sponge cannot grow in or on this sponge for the life of the sponge. Now I'm gonna go grab this sponge back here because you know what? I think everybody has seen Yes. That yes. disgusting, crispy critter, smelly, slimy thing that you call a sponge that you keep next to your um, sink all the time. That is harboring all kinds of stuff that you probably can't even pronounce. All you have to do is replace it with my sponges, and we're going to look at a little um, animation that was prepared by the independent lab that made the testing that said that my sponges have this effect. Right there, you're looking at Ew. what is growing oh. in or on your current cellulose sponge. It's and true. Ordinary sponge, ordinary, and it's replicating. They are multiplying. They are growing. If you replace it with my sponge, now you're mm -hmm. going to see what happens there. You might pick up some contaminants on the sponge, but you see them going poof, Yep. poof. They can't live. It will inhibit their growth and their replication. So every time you pick up my sponge, it's like a new sponge. This particular sponge, this is the one with the scrubber on the back. My scrubber is also made with the same material. So your scrubber oh, this is great. also rinses very clean, very easily. It doesn't pick up things. You know, sometimes you get a scrubber and there's like all eggs and whatever stuck in it. This will rinse absolutely clear and it's made the same properties. It will not allow that growth. So let's look at a couple of things here that I'm gonna to talk to you about. You're gonna get 12 of my sponges. Now the kinds of things that it actually inhibits the growth of are Staph, MRSA, E. coli, Salmonella, black mold, and many more. Those are the big ones that we hear about all the time oh making gosh. people sick, right? I'm gonna put you on the spot yeah. here and ask you, I want you in the future to make these in, a, in even a different color. You know why? When I looked at staph E. coli, I said, no, I wanna, no, I'm not Think even, I'm not even green. no, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> but when you travel, you check into the hotels. Mm -hmm. You know how the glass is in the hotel. I take these with me. And that's what I'm saying. You I take, travel with mine. You've got to travel Absolutely. with something like this because it will although hold, surfaces look clean, how um, do you really know? It holds 22 times its own weight. In, in liquid and absorbs 40% more than an ordinary sponge. Now talk about wow. an ordinary sponge. Here's 12 sponges, right? Those 12 sponges, each one of them lasts 15 times longer than an ordinary cellulose sponge. Now I know you don't like math, so I'm gonna do it for you. If you buy 12 of my sponges, you don't buy 180 of these. That is saving you money. Oh, yeah. A lot of money. Uh, so let me do this. I'd love to encourage you to shop. This or this? We have free shipping and handling, and this is very limited. Not this. <laughs> that. These are very limited. <laughs> Mine are very limited. Those are different. That's the stuff that you can get from yep. aisle seven at any supermarket. You know what? This is science, and that's what you really want. They're going to last and last and last. Look at the gold stars under the customer pick. The reviews I get the are most wonderful reviews incredible on this product. It's they, it is on sale. And buy more than one set, especially with the free shipping and the sale price. Now, very, very you're, different. You're, you're absolutely right. I travel with mine. I keep them in the, the kitchen, oh, the to. bathroom. I'm, I keep them in the garage. I'm not really germaphobic, but when even, I go into hotels, no. I just kind of feel but, like I should just wipe stuff down all But the you time. know, I even keep it in the garage because when I, I don't use a sponge all the time out there, but when I go to pick it up, I want to make sure it's this and not this. So let's get rid of that. Now, I just, let's talk about a spill. These sponges of mine actually are a little different. They're, first of all, they're shaped so they're easy to hold in your hand. I did it that way. My hand is small, and I, I hate big, clunky sponges. So I made it so it would fit in my hand. The scrubber's on the back. My sponges are made with a material that is so soft, it will never harden. It will never get slimy. It will never smell. And the way you would wipe things up, with an ordinary sponge, you might 
Wipe and wipe and wipe. With my sponge, it's capillary action because this is a very dense material. So I made a spill there. We're going to start like this. I'm going to put it down on the spill, and I'm going to press down to start the capillary action. Watch. All I'm doing is pressing down. See it? Pressing. It's all in the sponge. Watch. I got a little bit there. Put it like that. All I did was press. That's how easy it is. And then you rinse it out under running water, and that's it. You don't have to do anything to make it work. You don't have to do anything to make it last. You don't have to do anything to clean it. It's all by itself. It's like a new sponge every single time. Because think about it. When you're wash, you're wiping up all the countertops and stuff, and then you go and you wash things. So you're washing my cake cutters. You're washing my green boxes. Maybe the baby's things. You have some grandchildren like me, and they have things. What are you doing if you are wiping it with this? This guy. What are you doing? Yeah. Let's and have I a want, look at that. I was going to show. Let's show that, that video again because the truth is, is that this is it that uh, you shouldn't have that in your house. You shouldn't have simple it. As that. I mean, that's the only thing. That's why they that. tell you to microwave that. That's, that's why they tell you to put it. Why in, would in I want to put something that I? Where I cook food, why would I right. put something? And that's why they even tell food. you to bleach those. Yeah. With this Debbie Meyer Genius Sponge, you don't have to bleach them, you don't have to wash See them, that? that's you don't my have sponge. to put them in the dishwasher, and you don't have to put them in the microwave. It's inhibiting the growth and replication of molds and bacteria that you will pick up on a sponge. Every sponge will pick something up. The difference is, with all those little nooks and crannies and the, the way it's made, that will become this slimy mess in no time. Ugh. This is what you do. And you don't have to do anything. Why would I put a sponge in my microwave? I don't. I cook in there. I don't want a slimy, dirty thing in there. So this, at night, I rinse it out, put it next to the, next to the count, on the countertop. In the morning, I've got a brand new sponge. So whether you're cleaning your baby's things, your household goods, your um, dishes, out in my garage, we wipe things up. We wipe up spills, just like I showed you there. It's in this sponge. Watch again. I'm going to pick that up. All you do is press, and it picks it up. You don't have to wipe, because this is capillary action. This is what picks that up, and it's clean, right? It's all in there. I would just squeeze that out, and it's done. But the big news is you are not going to have to keep replacing sponges. Before I created these, one of the reasons I did create them <laughs> was that I would throw away a sponge a week. That's what I would do, because I didn't want to have to. I would, I don't want my hands in bleach. I don't want my, you yes. know, doing all that stuff. So I would throw away a sponge a week. Instead, I have 12 of my sponges in a, in a container that you're going to buy. You don't buy 180 ordinary cellulose sponges. These are just getting in your trash constantly. Done. That's also a waste of money. Yeah. So you're going to you're going to spend less on the sponges. You're going to use them longer. And believe me, these last a long time. My name will wear out, right? If you don't, that doesn't matter. I'm happy. If my name wears out. If you don't like my name, store it that way. I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's okay with me. But it, it, it's held very easily in your hand. I wanted something that I could get a good grip on when I was scrubbing, so I, I made it like that. The scrubber is made with the same material, so the scrubber will not hold on to bacteria, mold, et cetera. And let's show that video one final time because sure. I want you to get the science in if an independent looking, lab test. Yes, that you're looking at an ordinary cellulose sponge. That's what is probably growing in it right now. Remember, the, the laboratory who tested my sponges made this animation based on their findings of ordinary cellulose sponges. When they tested my sponge, they found that my sponge and its construction will not allow those molds and bacteria to not only replicate, but it will not allow them to live. So when you're rinsing out this sponge, the sponge is clean. For the life of the sponge, it's not something that you can wear out or wash out. For the life of so the sponge. So keep one in the bathroom, your kitchen area. Uh, bathroom, so much water. Teachers need students. these. Absolutely. For the classrooms to wipe you the know, kids' desks when I that sort of thing. When I saw the studies that said the dirtiest place in your house is not the bathroom. It's your kitchen sink. The number two dirtiest place in your entire house, your kitchen sponge. Not anymore. I'm not a germaphobe either. I actually not that scared of germs, but I want to do the best I can for my family. Me too. It's Me too. We all have to. And I'd rather do it as easily as possible. Yes. Well, you know? this is the best way to get it. They're on sale. We have free shipping and handling. 
You get an ample amount. You in get the 12, set of 12. and um, They certainly make for great gifts. We want all our surfaces to be clean. We hear every week about staph and MRSA and E. coli uh -huh. and salmonella and all of this other stuff. And isn't it nice to be able to have that tool Would that you, you're going to be using to clean the surfaces in around your home? Spread yeah. it around for you? Not yeah, spread exactly. With the traditional sponges. I hate to beat up on the traditional sponges, but, I mean, they don't compare. You know, but not they don't. in your home, you want to be safe as possible. You want to do things as simply as possible. I'm about the science, but I'm also about the ease. Yes. Well, I do hope that you'll continue to shop. We have so many great products on our website. I know that not everyone has access to the Internet, but my goodness, if you do, I would type in <laughs> Debbie Meyer. I would see her expanded assortment on our website and all the other great values that we have.